Welcome everyone, I trust you are well. In today's video, I am going to discuss how we can move beyond the breaking point and empower ourselves to not be affected by the outside distractions around us. If we do this, we move effectively, efficiently and positively in our world without reacting to it and becoming caught up in the trauma. And please remember to subscribe to this channel for more awakening content and I am very excited to share films with you very soon. For humans to move beyond breaking point, we should first understand what that breaking point actually is. If you haven't realized already, we are at a crossroads in the world events around us. No matter what angle you look at this, we are at a major transition in our economies, trade, leadership and transparency to the powers that control us. We are moving into a different world for sure. No doubt we will move into a digital economy and money will be created in many different ways. It's very exciting to see where this will lead and I'm interested in all the sorts of trade we'll have in the future when we are more a community-based society. As the old ways are going to change in a major way, it's exciting but also overwhelming because you can see the bigger picture. To avoid this Orwellian dystopian world, we have to remember that we are the controllers of this system and we're all living in a co-creative experience. We are contributing to this whether you believe in that or not. All our actions affect it. When we act in truth, we will naturally manifest true leadership with people that act with integrity and for the greater good of humankind. So by a breaking point, I mean a new turning point of life, a new direction. We have had these critical times over history many, many times before, but so many have missed because of the distractions they create. The breaking point is where reality in your life has reached the maximum tension and it has to crack for its growth or evolution to continue. Like when a plant grows through concrete, it will eventually break through and find its way out. This could be with a current events, but in most cases, it's a personal issue that you cannot ignore any longer. And you are letting the outside world distract you from it. It's that time when you are called to an adventure, the monomyth. This is a personal story, but also one that helps build the collective when more people engage within their own personal journey. The breaking point is part of the challenge, but hard to accept because it will mean a breakdown of our psyches to some nature and a major change to the, to the external reality around us. Our psyches are trained that when we visualize or foresee something dangerous, it will put our bodies and minds into panic. We get that horrible feeling in our gut and almost feel we can't move and sometimes our bodies will even freeze up. Our brains process and visualize all these outcomes from the news, documentaries, daily affairs, gathering all this imagery. Then our neural networks fire off and create all these different scenarios. Because our state is in a state of panic, we, we, we need certainty, security, so our brains will process an outcome. Good or bad, it will set a destination. Then, because we can see a destination, we, we are shown or imagine an endpoint with, with those realities, which we then believe it to be real. But remember, this doesn't mean it will be the desirable outcome. We have the ability to change this at any moment. I completely understand how we get pulled into this. As we have been told so many lies, our brains scramble for reason and we clutch for some rationale. But we then forget that the future is never predetermined and is being created every minute. It's not possible to create the exact future as much as some believe they can, but you can certainly plant information and stories into the human psyche, so events will unfold. We then participate, create that story without knowing we are, believing and acting within it. The more we act in the story, the more it becomes real. But remember, through the motion, we are giving our power away. 
We are distracted within these states of fear. Yes, the magic word of fear, the trigger. It gets repetitive and will drive us crazy. People have been taught to demonstrate their power only when in fear. And this relates back to the distorted rebel in which I spoke about previously. Instead of standing strong in themselves, in their own energy, they allow the fear to enter their body. They could quite easily become aware of the world they live in, but instead they wait for the fear to overtake them and become encompassed by the mainstream of reality. The mainstream reality will teach you on a continuous basis to react to the external world. And then this dilutes our core strength, making us attract more negative experiences. In turn, this becomes a snowball effect and spirals our minds out of control, always taking us further away from the self, our awareness and truth. It's a, it's a vicious circle that humans need to be aware of, otherwise this cycle will just continue on and on and on. Humans on the whole are decent people and want the best for each other. We are collective beings, even though some might prefer to be isolated or obsessed with their egos. Human collective energy will always rise up and will make us always congregate and connect with one another. Humans can never be made into machines as much as something feels that that's the way to drive and control people. They have to understand that this doesn't work. Even if people want a desire for tech, they don't want it to control them. It will lead to a reality no one will want, including the people that build it. So when we move beyond the breaking point, that anxiety can grow because we are stepping into unknown territory, the unknown world, the deep sea. After the breakdown, we can often be leaving an abyss, a dark space where dark monsters can appear and seem very, very real. Understand we are in a transition of returning to a more stable condition or something more relative to that it, it, it is. Consciousness or your awareness will always grow, so it's unavoidable to ignore when a breakdown is happening. So we have to manage our energy the best we can. Believe me, I want this world to shift for the better, but it's a huge physical challenge. The thing that gets me that if it changed tomorrow, there would still be us, the people left, and we would have to get on with it. Most people distrust each other, and this is only generated by media or politics that people believe in. Trust is vital for human connection, for, the, for that deepest love. There is a lot more to explain on this subject as it goes very, very deep, but here are some simple steps. You can just turn off your media and any exterior negative situations. Sort out anything in your personal life the best you can. Make it brighter and better. Make choices and take actions in yourself. The rest will just fall into place. Remember, you are connected to everyone and nothing divides us. So to move beyond a breaking point to a place where we feel settled and can grow within a world where we feel is maybe collapsing, we have to centre our being, and I don't mean this in a woo-woo way, but we have to find ways where we can feel and connect with our inner self, really listening to our own voice. If you don't know how to centre yourself, just go into nature, a local wood, and close your eyes for 15 minutes and just listen. Start with that and see how you feel. Humans are very out of sync and have to be in touch with their psychic energy. I will explain this as time goes on and make some films about this as well. But you will get there if you firstly by becoming still and at peace with your surroundings, which really isn't easy at this time. But by becoming in touch with this, you will find overcoming the breaking point less turbulent and enjoy the challenges you are presented with. I always go back to creativity because this is the healthiest and most accessible to most. Creativity can be expressed through artistry, but also in the way you think and act in your life. Practicing creativity will always lead to breakthroughs and will always be there to elevate you from anxiety and fears. 
I'm really excited to share some fantastic work with you soon. And, and again, thank you everyone for watching. Please subscribe if you're not already. And until next week, I will see you then. Mm -hmm.